in this video, I can craft any item in the game. This means any kind of sword, axe, shovel, or even armor. Can I beat Minecraft? You'll have to subscribe and get out of that large percentage of people not currently subscribed to find out. And here's the comment of the video. Leave a comment down below for a chance to be featured. And let's shoot for 15 likes on this video. Enjoy. All right, guys, we're here on top of a Savannah Hills biome. Pretty good spawn, but there is something that I want to do in this video before we actually get in to try and complete the end. And <gasps> I already see a desert temple out of the side of my eye, so we have somewhere to explore right away. And, uh, well, desert temples normally contain emeralds, so if we can get emeralds right off the bat here, that's actually huge, and I'll let you know in a minute why. But before we do any of that, I'm going to make a crafting table, and basically since the start of me doing UHC content, which is a lot of the content I do on this channel, all of you have always wanted me to do one thing. So I'm gonna craft my wooden tools, but specifically a shovel. And I'm going to start mining up a bunch of dirt here. And some of you might know where this is going, but uh, well, for those who don't, essentially, I am currently collecting enough dirt to make, well, there it is, 26 dirt. A set of dirt armor. So this is a dirt chest plate. We got a dirt leggings, dirt helmet, dirt boots. And uh, this is what you guys always wanted. Dirt armor. Look at that. I'm finally dressed up in it. You guys can stop commenting about it now. And, uh, well, it's dirt. What did you expect? This armor sucks. It has three armor bars. There's nothing more to it. It doesn't have any cool effects. It's probably the most lame thing we'll be crafting today. But yeah, that's essentially the twist is we're going to be able to craft armor out of any item in the game. This is Acacia Plank chest plate, And, uh, well, this actually has a power. It's called the regrowth. And a lot of these armors do have powers, but only when you're wearing the full set of it. So let's Let's go into our menu here. You can see on the side of my screen, I can see pretty much every block in all of Minecraft. And if I search the word armor, <gasps> Oh my goodness, look how many armors you can create. This is essentially every block in the entire game, but in armor form that you can make and wear. But not only that, if I type in, I don't know, pickaxe, <gasps> we have a whole new set of pickaxes as well. So these are the default vanilla ones. Now we can make a quartz pickaxe, an emerald pickaxe, an obsidian one, lapis, redstone, and a super pickaxe. And the super one, well, that's gonna require the blaze rods and stuff, which we're gonna go to the nether to get anyways. And that one mines a lot at once, like a couple blocks more than normal. Same with all the axes here. And uh, lastly, if we search sword, look at all the new swords that we can craft. So on top of even just like the emerald and obsidian swords, we got swords like the ravager sword, the cave spider sword, the prismarine sword, and all of these come with their different crafts. A lot of these are not that great, but we'll kind of just craft them as we go along and see what we get in this, uh, well, in this challenge. Which brings me to the reason this desert temple could be so big. So, uh, well, first of all, we have no food, so. Oh my gosh, is that a village next to the desert temple? Okay. Well, that means if we don't get emeralds in the desert temple, there's a big chance we might get them in this village, and that's because we can make our emerald pickaxe right off the bat, and it's stronger than a diamond pick, so we would have our pick ready to go right away. We just can't kill ourselves, and you know what is also in a desert temple? TNT! Oh, and you know what you can make with TNT? Armor, baby. And TNT armor is actually one of the more powerful ones in the game. I think one of the ones I want to get is obsidian armor because that one allows you to have more health. But this one allows you to literally explode things, but only if you have the full set on. So we have nine TNT here. That's about enough for one armor piece, like a chest plate probably. And inside we don't have any emeralds, but we have bones and stuff. We do have sand. Come on, give me some emeralds. Oh, we have a golden apple. We do have an emerald and uh, well, nothing else. And oh no, please, are you? Are you kidding me? We only got one emerald through this whole thing and I am hungry, so give me all this food. No, this is just wheat farms. And look, I got an achievement. Yes, I'm helping you guys out with your farms, but they do have wheat here and I'm hoping they have more food than that. Please give me like carrots or something. I'm not seeing any anywhere, but we do have hay bales and guys, I think we can make armor out of hay bales and you know what else we can make armor out of? Sugar cane. And wait, what's that in the distance? Is that a broken portal? <gasps> Guys, we're finding a lot of stuff here off the bat. Okay, hold on. There is a blacksmith right here. I am getting very hungry though. I don't want to fail this challenge on not having food. Please have food in here and... <gasps> 
A stone cold sword. It gives a blindness effect. Okay. You know what? I'm going to put a ban on right now. Effective immediately. I'm not allowed to wear any default armors in this video or use any default tools. Okay. I have the wood pick because like I had to make that. But after this, it's going to be all custom stuff. Stone Age. Look at me mining coal. A default Minecraft ore. Why are you doing that, Grazer? Well, it's because I found a villager over here that's actually going to trade this coal for emerald. So let's go ahead and put these in. That's one emerald. That's two emerald. And, uh, well, we can make some sticks here. You guys kind of see where this is going, but I have no wood. Luckily, that's a good problem to have. So now we will make the emerald pickaxe. Look at that. Okay, so yeah, it's just an emerald pickaxe. Literally, it's, it's just as good as a diamond pick, but I think it has more durability and it's a bit faster. So we don't even need to really get diamonds to mine up obsidian and stuff to go to the nether in this video. And dude, things are moving a little slow right now. Let's craft ourselves some sugar cane armor, which has the speedy effect. We get speed so we can run right up to this broken down portal we saw in the desert and see what we have here in the chest. And this is actually amazing because, well, we can mine the obsidian from here and be like halfway toward our obsidian armor already. So what do we have in the chest? We have like a golden hoe with silk touch, mending, nothing much, but a lot of gold, which normally I would really like gold but not in this one. That's kind of a weird chest. A lot of flint and steels and stuff. And check out how fast this is at mining the obsidian. I just started mining it and it is already broken right now. Okay, maybe it's like not that crazy fast, but it was definitely faster or if not just as fast as a diamond pick. And I think we actually have enough obsidian here, guys, to go to the nether. So why not? Because we're going to need some blaze rods to obviously complete the game. And well, yeah, look at that. We have enough. Grab these flint and steels in here, light it up and we'll head on over it's getting nighttime anyway so it's perfect but we also need blaze rods to create those super items like the super pick super sword and all that ah! oh my gosh i just fell and there was piglins everywhere i forgot how little this freaking armor has they have bows and stuff oh my i could actually die i could actually die right now that piglin is after me if i didn't have speed he would have literally caught me right there this is why we have golden apples grays and you know what even the freaking netherrack can be made into an armor look at that I'll go ahead and make the TNT chest plate explosive. Now, it doesn't have exploding powers. Unless, of course, what did you give me? Oh, you gave me quartz. Actually, dude, I just got eight quartz from this guy. Why did I kill him? That was actually a big find because I can just make quartz armor. <laughs> Look at that. Can you make hay bale? Oh, you can. Hay bale boots, soft fall. <gasps> Wait, so if I put those on, it means that I won't take as much fall damage, but it would remove my speed. So not worth. And oh my goodness, we have a bastion right away. This is not what I actually wanted to find. I wanted a fortress. I don't think there's anything we need from a bastion, but we could go in here. Actually, I don't know if I want to. There is obsidian though, which we could use to get our obsidian armor because that's the one that we're ultimately gonna want when we fight the ender dragon. I don't see any piglin brutes around. Okay, usually there's tons in this chest room. <gasps> Music disc and everything. Okay, we got the blackstone. Just watch out for those you know, things around it. We got golden apples, gold blocks, soul speed boots. I hear them. They're somewhere. Whoa! <laughs> Run! We've angered the brutes! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I can't run faster! Oh, oh! Okay, luckily they slow down on the on the soul sand as well. Oh my gosh, I'm out of here. And look at this! We're finding Enderman on the way of our journey. Okay, now I don't have crazy OP armor like I did in my last Minecraft butt video, so I have to kind of stretch strategize a little bit here. Yes! There we go. Easy. We'll use our our custom like coal stone sword or whatever this is to kill him and boom! And what did he just drop it? There's another enderman. Die! You will die. I'll kill all of you. And another ender pearl. Yeah, we're actually off to an incredible start here, guys. Holy cow. Look at this magma chest, but illuminated fiery flame resistant. Yes, that is literally perfect against blaze rods. Make all of this immediately. And uh, then we'll just have to worry about our food. But I wasn't confident with the armor I'm coming in with. So we'll get rid of all of this for now. We'll put on our magma block armor. And it sucks. It looks really good while I'm on it. But it only has three armor bars. This is terrible. And here's our first blaze. So if he shoots us, what happens? Oh, we don't take like any damage from him. Perfect. I can just kill blaze without. Okay, well, if he hits me like close up, then I take a lot of damage. But if he shoots me, yeah, I'm not taking anything. All right, I'm eating my golden apple and I'm going in. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Okay, one of you has to drop it. One of you has to drop it. Please, please. Yes, I got it. Okay, one of them dropped the wither bone. Die. That's all we wanted. Wither bone, baby. So now if we put that in our crafting like this and we put like basalt like this and put a black stone in the middle, 
we get the basalt broadsword, and this will be our new sword. This one has 5.5, this one has a 9.5. Definitely a better weapon, and look how big it is in my freaking GUI. You can't do nothing. Give me that blaze rod. Ooh, into fire. We'll need a couple more of those. Die! All of you must die! All right, so we have around 11, and that's probably enough to create the super stuff and have enough to get to the end as well. I need food bad, so I'm so sorry, Hoglins. You must die. Oh, it's a little baby. No, 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 don't kill me. I didn't mean to do that. Here, take the gold. Take the gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trade me something. Obsidian. Yes. I needed that for obsidian armor. Thank you. I'm out of here. Now, I want my obsidian armor. So I'm sorry, Nether Portal, while I do myself an obsidian mining session. There we go. And that should be enough obsidian to create at least the chest plate. And we had that one obsidian from the obsidian trade. Here we go. And look at that. Obsidian chest plate. Immovable. Flame resistant. Health boost. So we'll put this on right now. I have four armor bars versus what I had with all of the magma. So I'll put the rest of it as the sugarcane armor. Wait, can you create cactus armor? I'm actually curious. Please. Oh, yeah. We are going full cactus for a second. Oh my goodness, look at me. So if I run into a random villager with this armor on. Oh, it actually does prick him. Oh my gosh, it does like a cool effect with my armor when it does that too. Okay, so we actually have enough to make some eye of vendors to get the trajectory of the stronghold. So let me go ahead and toss it in the air and it's this way and please, please, please. Yeah. Guys, you're never gonna believe it. For the first time today, we're in a kill! That was almost disastrous. I was trying to be very cool, but I just hopped into a cave full of mobs and there's actually an enderman here, which is very good because we need a couple more ender pearls. Die! Okay, I'm at very low hearts. He did not drop an ender pearl. Pretty much the only thing we need in here is a lot of obsidian. Go away, skeleton. Die a miserable death. And he gave me a bow. I was like, yes, we need a bow too, which we had string, I guess, to make, but wait. I'll take it. All right, that should be enough obsidian. So now we're finally going to get pretty much invincibility. Well, not invincibility, but if we create this whole set of armor, you can see it's got all these effects. And if we put the entire set on, let's take all this off. We're just gonna throw it away. I don't care about any of that. That's obsidian helmet, obsidian leggings, and obsidian boots. Bam, look at that. We have double the hearts and our entire armor bar is filled. So I guess at this point, we could theoretically just go to the end and meet the dragon. I mean, I'm we're pretty well geared, but there's one more armor that I want to craft and that's the TNT armor. We only have the TNT chest plate, so we would need to find a couple of more temples to get the entire set. So I'm gonna go get some food and we're gonna go hunting. Is the stronghold still this way? Yes, so we are still going in the direction we need to go. With our obsidian armor, we can just go down like this. Easy peasy and... <gasps> Now we can choose which super item we actually want. We didn't ever make an ax, so I guess we can make just a, an ax. So we need two blaze rods, two gold, and a diamond. Make us a super ax, replace that bleh, iron ax, and now, well, we just got the achievement super ax. We have a nice row of uh, tools that are pretty good, and we get the rest of this TNT for our armor. All right, so we have enough for one TNT right there in gunpowder. So we can actually make the shoes now too. So we have three pieces of the TNT armor. We only need five TNT left. Okay, we need to get creeper killing now. Creeper killing session! So we'll craft the last of the armor pieces. That's five TNT. Make that helmet. Oh, brother. Okay, so we're gonna have to save this. Hey, little drowned. We'll put our existing obsidian armor over here on the top of our inventory and we'll replace it with this TNT armor. And uh, now if I just walk up to you and I click the R button. Oh! But I'll use it just a bit to just troll. Oh, 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 oh. Look, we have a village here. <laughs> Goodbye, village house. This is probably the smallest village I've ever seen, by the way. Like, there's only two houses total. And <gasps> that iron golem is busy. Okay, so it is night still. We can get some endermen. And yeah, let's just make our way to the end. Oh my gosh, my sword is gonna die on any hit now, please. No, he's taking my blocks. He's taking the blocks to my base here. Die. Give me, yes, at least one pearl. Oh, and the stronghold's back this way. Yes, yes, okay. 
Oh, that super shovel is dope, but you can mine down and it will like do like three by three. But actually, this isn't good. This isn't good. Oh, actually, it is good. We found a cave. So the stronghold should be just down here. If my calculations are correct, we'll just keep digging down. Oh, yes. Stronghold. Oh, and I found the end room, but oh, okay. Thank goodness. We have a pearl in here. Hold on. How many do we have filled in? Let's see the whole thing. We have no, there's none filled in. Oh, we have another one here, please. And a yes, two ender pearls. Okay, perfect. Oh, and another one here. Oh, and another ender pearl. <gasps> That's three. That's it. That's all we need. Okay, back to the room. Holy cow, that was lucky. Okay, we put these in here and we just have enough blaze powder. Luckily, I got that much and I didn't use more blaze rods when making the super tools, but we're into the end now. Let's make this the quickest end fight ever. We'll put on our TNT armor and we'll just go right to him. And as soon as he purchases, we're just gonna act like a bed and just blow him up and hopefully it works. Oh, dragon. Oh, he's purging. He's purging. Go, Grazer, go. Oh, and it does like hardly anything. Oh, it is actually kind of doing some damage, but it's not nearly enough to like as a bed would do. We'll quickly take care of the crystals. Dragon, die. Yeah, this is it for him. Boom, there he goes. That's how you complete the game, everyone. When you're able to craft any item, let's make it official in three, two, one, bam.